This video will demonstrate how to set up the CDC Flu SC2 Multiplex Assay Template on an Applied Biosystems 7500 Fast DX Real-Time PCR instrument using the optimal filter calibrations of FAM, Yakima Yellow, Texas Red X, and Sci-5. First, Turn on your instrument and associated computer system and launch the 7500 Fast DX Real Time PCR System software by double clicking on the associated icon on the desktop. Once you are logged into the system software, select Create New Document from the menu on the screen. The New Document Wizard screen will appear. On this screen, ensure that the following settings are selected. The assay setting should be set to standard curve or absolute quantitation. The container setting should be set to 96 well clear. And for the template setting, select blank document. For the run mode setting, be sure to update the run mode setting to standard 7500. The operator box should contain your name or user ID. The comments section should contain the version of the software that's being run. For example, today we're running SDS version 1.4.1. Finally, the plate name is the name in which the files will be saved. The plate can be named any way you choose. Once these settings have been selected, click Next at the bottom of the New Document Wizard screen. The next screen that appears is the Select Detectors screen. To make a new detector, for example, an Influenza A FAM detector, click the New Detector button. This will bring up the New Detector window. A new detector will need to be defined for each target in the FLU SC2 multiplex assay, if this has not been previously done. Creating these detectors will enable the analysis of each primer and probe set individually at the end of the reaction. In the new detector window, type INFA underscore M into the name box. Leave the description box blank. Set the reporter die to FAM, but leave the quencher die set to none. To select the color of the detector indicator, click on the color square to reveal the color chart. Select orange as the color for the INFA underscore M detector, and click on OK to return to the new detector screen. To create another detector, click the Create Another button. To create the Influenza B Yakima Yellow Detector, type INFB underscore Y into the name box. Leave the description box blank. Set the reporter die to Yakima Yellow, but leave the quencher die set to none. Select green as the color of the INFB underscore Y detector indicator, and click OK to return to the new detector screen. Calibration probes for Yakima Yellow are available through the CDC International Reagent Resource webpage. To create the next detector, click on the Create Another button. To create the SARS-CoV-2 Texas Red X detector, type SC2 underscore T into the name box. Leave the description box blank and set the reporter die to Texas Red X, but leave the quencher die set to none. Select red as the color of the SC2 underscore T detector indicator, and click OK to return to the new detector screen. Note that your instruments probably already have a Texas Red filter calibration installed. However, this is not exactly the same as Texas Red X calibration. Calibration probes for Texas Red X are available through the CDC International Reagent Resource webpage. Select Create Another once more. And to create the RNAs P Sci-5 detector, type 
RP underscore M into the name box. Leave the description box blank and set the reporter die to Y5, but leave the quencher die set to none. Select black as the color of the RP underscore M detector. Click OK on the new detector screen. Now that all four detectors of the Flu SC2 multiplex assay have been created, these new detectors will be added into the Select Detectors screen. Before proceeding, the four Flu SC2 multiplex assay detectors must be added to the document. To add the new detectors to the document, select each of the four detectors from the list on the left side of the screen and click Add. Selected detectors will appear on the right side of the Select Detectors window. It is important to set the passive reference to none, as the default setting is typically rocks. Do this by selecting none from the drop-down menu. It is critical to make this update because the fluorescence signal for the SARS-CoV-2 target is measured within the rocks wavelength. Thus, if the passive reference remains as rocks, the data collected will not be valid. Click Next at the bottom of the Select Detectors window to proceed to the Setup Sample Plate window. In the Setup Sample Plate window, select all the wells in the plate. In the top portion of the window, select all four detectors in the Flu SC2 multiplex assay Influenza A FAM, Influenza B Yakima Yellow, RNAs P Y5 and SARS-CoV-2, Texas Red X. A check mark will appear next to each selected detector, and the selected wells will be populated with four colored U icons to indicate that the detectors have been assigned to the corresponding wells. Click the Finish button after detectors have been assigned to each well. After clicking Finish, there will be a brief pause allowing the 7500 Fast DX instrument to initialize. Note that the instrument must be powered on for initialization. After initialization, the plate tab in the setup window will appear. Each well of the plate should contain the four colored U icons, corresponding to the four detectors of the Flu SC2 multiplex assay. To confirm the detectors that have been selected, click on the Well Inspector icon from the top menu. In the Well Inspector window, ensure that all four Flu SC2 multiplex assay detectors are included, that each has the appropriate reporter setting, for example, the INFA detector reporter should be set to FAM, and each quencher is set to none. To label wells with sample or control IDs, highlight each well and in the Well Inspector screen add in an appropriate sample ID or control ID into the sample name box. Repeat this step for each well until all sample identifiers and control identifiers are added to the plate setup. Once all specimen and control identifiers are added, Click the Close button on the Well Inspector window to return to the Plate Setup tab. Click on the Instrument tab at the upper left corner of the screen. Modify the thermal cycling conditions based on the enzyme that's being used. The two enzymes currently approved for use with the Flu SC2 multiplex assay are the Applied Biosystems TAC Path One Step Multiplex Master Mix with No Rocks and the QuantaBio Ultraplex One Step Tough Mix. If you are using TAC Path, please be sure to use the version with No Rocks. The SARS CoV 2 data is collected in the Rocks channel, so usage of enzyme with rocks may impact analysis and interpretation of the data. If you are using Applied Biosystems TACPATH One Step Multiplex Master Mix with no rocks, then set it as follows. In Stage 1, Step 1, set to 2 minutes at 25 degrees Celsius with reps set to 1. 
in stage one, step two, set to 15 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius. In stage two, set to two minutes at 95 degrees Celsius with reps set to one. In stage three, set reps to 45 cycles and cycle between 95 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds, followed by 55 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. In the settings box at the bottom of the screen, make sure the sample volume is set to 25 microliters. The run mode is set to standard 7500 and that data collection is set to stage three, step two which is 55 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. If you are using QuantBio Ultraplex One Step Tough Mix 4X, then set as follows. In stage one, step one, set to two minutes at 25 degrees Celsius with reps set to one. In stage one, step two, set to 15 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius. In stage two, set to three minutes at 95 degrees Celsius with reps set to one. Note that this is different from the tack path setting at this stage. In stage three, set reps to 45 cycles and cycle between 95 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds followed by 55 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. In the settings box at the bottom of the screen, make sure the sample volume is set to 25 microliters. The run mode is set to standard 7500 and that the data collection is set to stage three, step two, which is 55 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. This file can now be saved as a template file by clicking File, then Save As, and then select SDS Templates, or .sdt, in the Save As type box. Save in the appropriate folder. A template file can be used for subsequent runs of the FLU SC2 multiplex assay. Prior to running a plate, save the run file by clicking File, and then save as and select SDS documents or .sds in the save as type box. Save the run file in the appropriate run folder designation. This file is where the data from the run will be stored. Load the plate into the instrument and click the start button. The run should take approximately 1.5 hours to complete. Please refer to the package insert for the CDC FLU SC2 multiplex assay for detailed guidance on assay setup, data analysis, and data interpretation. Thank you for your time and attention.